What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I got, uh, as you guys can see, my Elgato. I just bought it, I already unboxed it. Sorry about that guys, but it literally only comes with a, couple, a sticker, the HDMI cord, the USB-C to USB 3.0, and that's it. From there on, there's, there's instructions, but they're not very clear as to how, what to do and how to do it. So the first step is what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to connect your Elgato. Right now I'm doing it to my Switch so this will be like a Switch guide. Later on I'll show you how to do it to PS4 or actually to PC um, as well. So right here we have, um, let me show you, let me take this out. So this cable right here is the one that is included with um, the Elgato. This one is this one goes right there you see you plug it in in there and the other end of this cable you'll just plug it into your laptop or desktop or any other uh, device like that so I plugged mine into my computer uh, I'll show you guys the software and everything like that but this right here this cable right here the one that it says in so the cable, the port that says in you're going to want to get the HDMI cord that was originally plugged into your monitor slash TV. So your Nintendo Switch or your PS4 or your Xbox usually will have an HDMI cord and it literally just goes to the TV or the monitor and that's it. But with this you'll have to take that same cord, plug it into the in, uh, use, an included, uh, use the included HDMI cord or any other HDMI cord laying around plug it to the out right here and plug the this the other this end to the monitor so now it's like a uh, like a bypass so the video goes through here comes out through the end and then this just goes through the through the what's it called to the computer and that's basically it so let me show you the software on the computer how it's supposed to where you're supposed to download it and stuff like that so let me just show you guys that all right this is the elgato website it's literally just the elgato you go to capture you go to software and it sends you right here you can game capture for windows use a stream deck for windows control center uh these are all different products they use but for a game capture you don't want to do this you just basically click it uh, you download it, you install it, and then you go back over here to your uh, to your home screen, and the icon looks like this. It's uh, is this icon mark here? It's called Game Capture HD. You start it up. You gotta wait a little bit, and that's what essentially the the software looks like. So right now you see I connected my Nintendo Switch. And uh, the thing is, I haven't turned it on, so let me quickly just go turn it on, and I'll show you guys what it looks like from there. Alright, so with that, you guys saw it was basically instant, and um, this right here is playing through my uh, computer, not through my Switch. And it is considered instant game view. And I can vouch that it is basically instant. Uh, at this point right here, and right here instant game view, this is basically a mirror image of what I'm seeing on my Nintendo Switch. So if you guys just want proof of that, let me just move this stuff right here. And then there's both monitors right there. Let me move this right here. So you guys can see. So that's the uh, TV I'm watching, or the monitor. I'm looking at the... This is my computer that I would edit on. And this is my monitor. So, I'm just gonna see if I can... I'm only gonna look at the... The, this screen, not the actual Nintendo Switch screen, and to see if I can actually play anything if I if it's literally instant. But to my eyes right now, and I hope you guys can notice that this, there's really not that much difference going on. Uh, there's literally no noticeable lag. It's 
it feels almost like instant. Yeah, it's, that's why it's called instant game view. So I'm going to just do a quick little match just to see if there's any noticeable lag. I am running a Core i5-6600, not overclocked, with uh, 16 gigs of RAM and uh, a GTX um, 1060, not overclocked. So I'm just playing a little bit of Smash right now, and from my, I, I really feel no lag right now. Fighting against Greninja right now. But yeah, overall, if you're trying to record Switch gameplay, this is probably the best way to go. If you guys want to see um, more uh, setup videos for other devices, please just let me know down in the comments below. I'll try to get um, I'll try to do one for a PS4 Pro that I have, and uh, what's it called? A the PC that I'm using. See if I could uh, record within the PC. But yeah, right now, uh, not that much frame drops. I honestly don't think it... I'll, I'll do one with my MacBook because that one I did have an issue with, with lag. But with um, the desktop, it seems to be working better because it actually has a dedicated graphics card. So uh, all of the load is basically being taken off. But I think if you really wanted to, you could only... If you were to travel, you could take your Elgato and your console and you wouldn't have to take a actual a monitor screen you could take a laptop and just play it through there and you could use, that's what I read some people actually do with their with their Elgato they use it as a of as a form of another screen portable screen but yeah it's it's literally a mirror image wow that was too quick but I really I really like this Elgato uh, I'll try to do more uh, gameplays now, more Switch gameplays, and what the heck, what the heck, wow, I thought he died right there, that was pretty cool, there's a 5 minute grace period on the game capture software, so if you don't press record for 5 minutes, it'll still uh, record everything that, it'll still have everything saved for what you did for the past 5 minutes though. Uh, anything more than that and then you're out of luck if you guys want to see like a guide for what best settings to use for um, best consoles for well best settings for each console so for best settings for Nintendo Switch and a best settings for uh, PS4 Pro just let me know let me know down below and I'll try to get a video out as soon as possible all right and yeah I beat him so, you guys saw the split screen right there. I wasn't looking at that uh, monitor for the actual thing. I was looking at this one, and it looks literally instant. You guys saw the animation right there. Uh, literally instant. So, yeah, that was a unboxing. Not an unboxing. This was like a setup guide with a PC to Nintendo Switch on how to set it up. All right, guys. So, without further ado, hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys later. Peace.